What is going on, my fellow WWE Mattel figure collectors? Revolution Hell Cowboy here, and I'm back with an all new review. And finally, finally, after months and months of going to Toys R Us and not seeing this set, I finally got my hands on it. This right here is the Toys R Us exclusive WWE Best of Pay Review Build a Figure set. Of the one time executive vice president of talent relations for WWE and also former general manager of Raw and SmackDown, none other than. My name is John Laurinaitis. Yeah, that's my impression of him. He sounds like he smoked a bunch of cigarettes, but of course that brought more to his injury. But, anyways, uh. So, yeah, I finally got this. And like I said. Months and months have passed since I was trying to find these. When they should have been out, what, November of last year? And I figured our Toys R Us, the only Toys R Us have here in Wichita, Kansas, did not have them until now, the middle of freaking July. But you know what? It's all cool now. I finally have them, and now I can review them. Plus, I didn't have to spend a crap load of money off them online. They're already expensive as it is. Okay, so ranting aside, let's get into the review. First, I'm going to just give you guys a little shot of each figure in the package. We got Sin Cara, from his appearance at No Way Out. We've got Seamus, from his appearance at Money the Bank, which, as I am doing this video, it, Money the Bank is going to be on Sunday night. And he will be one of the participants in the WWE Money the Bank match, along with this guy, Captain Charisma. Christian, from his appearance at No Way Out last year. And finally, the poster boy himself, Mr. Fruity Pebbles. Hustle, loyalty, respect, and all that garbage. <laughs> John Cena, from his, ex from his appearance at Extreme Rules. Alright, so now that I've shown you guys the figures in the package, I'm going to review each one of them, their accessories, and of course, which piece they have to build Johnny Ace himself. Up first is Sin Cara, and it's not really my favorite figure. I'm not the biggest fan of Sin Cara, but it's alright. Maybe because I like the color red, so the red attire, I guess, works, and since it's the first Sin Cara figure, at least in my collection, then hey, you know, it's good to at least have one of him. Otherwise, not too different, you know, than his previous Elites. Like Elite 18 and the pre the first one, Elite 15, or in the color scheme, and maybe the jacket's a slight bit different. It's white, actually, instead of being gold. With red and gold designs, of course, it is remo removable. Of course, look at the back of the jacket. Back of the head, see the designs of the mask, his sleeves on his arms, and his... Red and white tights with some gold accents. I mean, it's all right. Once again, not the biggest Sin Cara fan, but at least it's good to have one in my collection. Now, other than his entrance jacket, he comes with part of the jacket of John Laurinaitis and the head of John Laurinaitis. Now, this is going to be a joke. Don't take it too seriously, but obviously, Sin Cara must have did something bad. Botched the move on poor Johnny Ace. And knocked his head off. And then took his jacket, but forgot to take the sleeves. Yeah, you botched that too, didn't you, Sin Cara? But you know what? Johnny Ace's head also doubles as a soccer ball. <laughs> and he could wear Johnny Ace's jacket, but it doesn't open up. Oh well. Up next is Seamus, a.k.a. the Celtic Warrior. Great White, or as John Cena once called him, the human jar mayonnaise. But you can call him 1-800-FELLA if you're in a tough predicament. 
and Seamus will come and give you a bro kick. <laughs> as you can see, he is very pale, as he is in real life, and obviously the lighting, you know, shows that, because he looks pretty bright as I'm looking back here on my camcorder. Anyways, uh, he's got red hair, which, as Mattel likes to do, give him sometimes natural red hair, and other times the more Ron McDonald red hair with his red beard. He is wearing completely red attire, which I guess is alright. I like to call it red, even though I'm not the biggest Shanks fan either. But anyways, he's got, you know, big red wristbands, red trunks with layouts with black and gold in the details, black and gold knee pads, you have the black and gold boots, and then the back, you got the, the gold cross, which is on the back of his trunks and on his boots. For his accessory, he comes with a t-shirt which says bro kick at the top, hooligans at the bottom, and on the sides, great white, and I believe that says Laoge, if I can zoom in on that. I apologize if you guys can't see that. But the shirt can be easily put on him and you can always take it off, which by the use of Velcro, and it's a good thing it's a cloth shirt, not a plastic shirt like with other figures. Because, let's be honest, plastic shirts, just like plastic jackets, are a joke. At least the jackets don't look as bad. And maybe sleeveless shirts aren't as bad, but the plastic shirts that have the sleeves look like football arm or, or something. So there he is with the shirt on. Next, we got to show off his accessories. And obviously, Seamus must have thought John Lernas was choking when he heard him talk. Gave him a bro kick, and this was all that was left of poor Johnny Ace. Oh, well, too bad. But hey, look, Seamus has got a new drinking buddy, right? <laughs> he doesn't have a head. <laughs> now this right here, this guy here is probably the most sought after and probably the most popular figure in the Build-A-Figure set. And it's Captain Charisma himself, Christian. With pretty cool tire, he's got a nice face scan, which I, I like a lot. Probably the best face scan out of all the figures. Of course, Sinkar, you can't see his face to begin with, but still, nice face scan. Good attire. Black and purple tights with Christian on the sides. The C. Of course, you know, generic boots and all. Uh, black wristbands, black elbow pads. Christian, sadly, does not come with a t-shirt or a jacket of any kind does suck, but he does come with the main reason this figure is so popular, and probably the accessory that will get stolen more than the than probably the build of figure pieces. This. The shiny white intercontinental title. And let me tell you, this is one heck of a belt. Of course, it can be worn around Christian's waist, or it can be on his arm. He can hold it. I'll just have him hold it for now. Like I said, probably the the reason why this figure is probably the hardest to find. Thankfully, I got my hands on mine was like when I could. But there he goes, Captain Charisma holding up a title he once held. And of course, we get to the accessory he came with when it came, comes to the John Lennon eyes build a figure, the legs. And obviously, he gave Johnny Ace a kill switch, but the legs stayed in place. Kind of a shame for poor Johnny Ace, but I guess you don't want to piss off Captain Charisma. Finally, I saved this guy for last. Probably my least favorite in the set, just because I don't hate the guy personally, but then again, I don't like the guy. It's none other than John Cena. The guy the kids come for, and the rest of us don't give a crap for. As you can see, he's wearing his old green attire that he wore prior to you know, change over to the current tire he's wearing now. The weird thing is, he only has one green uh, armband. I don't know why there is an armband on the other side. I don't know if this is just mine. I seriously can't find it. I don't know if maybe this is a mistake or if everybody else got a Cena like that because I would have sworn that he came with two. Of course, it is a removable armband. I'm just going to leave it on. He's got his typical blue jorts, which are kind of... Uh, I don't know, they just look kind of b bad, to be honest. He's got the new knee pads under his, you know, under his shorts, which in the past he didn't. Of his typical sneakers. So, Cena, of course, just being Cena. His accessories, well, what else would you expect to come with Cena? He comes with a green ball cap, which fits on his head, which this is how it was displayed in the package. 
his dog tags because he thinks he's a Marine. I mean, nothing wrong with saluting the troops and all, but Cena, the only Marine you were was in a movie. And finally, his green t-shirt, which is inspired by the Boston Celtics, and you know, nothing wrong with that. Cena is from Westbury, Massachusetts, um, West Newbury, Massachusetts, which is, you know, not too far from Boston. Of course, undo the Velcro, put the shirt on, which later he takes off, but of course, as John Cena, Mr. Fruity Pebbles himself, he's got to have his different colored shirt. It's okay. Personally, I like the one that appeared previously better, the red one and the previous Build-A-Figure, you know, Michael Cole set, which Cena is the only superstar so far to appear in two Build-A-Figure sets. And then he's also appeared in, like, the other best pair of you sets, like, you know, the Build-A-Table and the Backstage, uh, entrance, you know, Winterway and all that. But anyways, there's John Cena in all his glory. And the last pieces for the John Laurinaitis Build-A-Figure are the arms. And obviously, John Laurinaitis must have made that you can't see me joke John Cena. So what did John Cena say? Oh, you can't see me? Well, you can't see your arms. And he's ripped them right out of his sockets. John Cena might be kid friendly, but piss him off and you might lose your arms. Alright, guys, moment of truth. As much as we all hate John Laurinaitis and we're glad not to see him, still gotta put the figure together because that's what y'all came to see. So, let's get the legs right here. Snap the legs and the torso into place like this. Which, I, there we go, just gotta snap it like that. And of course, you can tell John Laurinaitis is pretty tall, and he was, you know, you know probably the tallest of all the big builder figures that they have released so far. Next, we got to put the jacket on, but you cannot put the arms on. I mentioned this in my Taylor Long review, which that was my first review. If you guys are watching now, this rev is review number 11. Now, that's kind of a coincidence that only 10 reviews later, I would do another build figure. But hey, you know what? It's good to do another review for you guys. Now, time to put the arms on right here. We got the left arm, because obviously if you put the right arm on, it's not going to look right. Snap it right in place. Next, we put on the right arm. And finally, the moment of truth. As much as we want to see John Laurinaitis headless, I mean, not for real, of course, that's morbid, but just in figure form, we're going to pop the head on. And there we go. Despite the fact that we don't see him on TV anymore, John Laurinaitis can always be the GM of our fake wrestling organizations. And, of course, you know, can be right in the middle of chaos whenever there's a match breaking out. Because he's John Laurinaitis. I told you, I'll be back. Because I'm John Laurinaitis. The executive vice president of talent relations. And uh, shut up, fella. Nobody cares about you, fella. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on just a moment. Wait a minute, John Cena. John Cena. Attitude adjustment. Oh no. <laughs> you can't see me. Hey, what's up, kids? <laughs> And of course, Christian gotta get his two cents in. One more match to kick your ass. Ugh. And then Sin Cara. Oh, he botches the landing. <laughs> so there's my review of the John Laurinaitis set. Let me know what you thought about this figure. And did you maybe like the set? Or would you like maybe have different superstars? And let me know how long did it take for this set to get to your store? Did it come out when it was first announced, when it was supposed to be out, or did you have to wait seven months down the road like I did to finally get your hands on all these? Anyways, I'm Revolutionary Cowboy. Thanks for watching, rock on, and keep collecting.